In this video, we are going to talk about automatic layering within Civil 3D. Automatic layering is Civil 3D's way of handling the complex objects that get created and automatically putting them on their own layers. You do not need to worry about layers if you have this set up properly, as most items will automatically go to their own layer and everything associated with that item will go to its own layer. Labels, for example. So how do we access the automatic layering? So within Civil 3D, open it up. You'll be creating this in a template, if potentially. Click the little A at the top left of the screen. So we'll click the Civil 3D logo. We'll go Drawing Utilities, and we'll click on Drawing Settings. Now this is also where you access your coordinate system to geolocate things properly. So let's click on the Object Layers tab, and as you see here, I've got all my layers already set up. So we'll take a quick look through them, and I'll explain some of the stuff you see here and why I don't have other stuff automatically layered. So your first tab is your object. This comes in by default. You will see all your objects in Civil 3D. Your layers will be blank. Your modifiers will probably be set to none. You'll have no values in there and they'll all be unlocked. So let's start with alignments. National CAD standards, the NCS, says the layer needs to start with C. C is for civil, dash, and I took the word alignment and I shortened it down to four letters, A-L-I-N. So C dash align, and then we have a modifier here. So what this modifier does, I've added it as a suffix with a dash star. So the dash star just says, take whatever I name my object and append it to my layer name. And we'll dive into Civil 3D in a couple minutes here and I'll show you how that works. The alignment labeling, I have it on C for civil dash L-A-B-L label dash A-L-I-N for alignment. And then I've also applied a suffix of dash star. So again, when you make an object, it will take the object name, make a layer C-Label-Align, and append it with your object name. Again, I'll show you that in a minute. Some stuff I haven't done a suffix to. Tables, don't really see a reason to. Again, you can if you want. The main one, if we go down to sections. So if you create a road section along an alignment, say every 50 meters, and your alignment is 10 kilometers long, that is a good, a good amount of sections. So let's say there's gonna be 200 sections. If you have this appended with a suffix of dash star, and even the labeling with a suffix of dash star, you're gonna get four, five, 600 layers automatically generated, one for each section, and one for each label that is attached to your section. So that is the reason I didn't append some of these. So I'll scroll to the top here and I'm gonna scroll through the list slowly. So if you'd like to copy them, you can. So there's my list. I'm just gonna click okay. You click okay when you're set up. And now let's see what the automatic layers do. So to show you how automatic layers operate, I'm gonna draw a polyline and just quickly turn it into an alignment. So there's my polyline. Alignments, I'm gonna create alignment from a polyline. Just select the defaults, hit enter. And up comes my alignment box. So if I name this, again, name things descriptively, 40th Avenue, usually you'll name it after your design. If you look down here, the alignment layer that's going to be created is C-Align-40th Avenue. And if you watch when I delete this extra E, it updates itself. Now I'm going to click OK. And give it a sec to generate. And apparently it was a little on the long side. 700 kilometers long, give or take. So if you look at my, I've clicked on my alignment, we'll see up here in my layer tabs, 
C dash line dash 40th Avenue. I'm going to click on my labels now, and as you saw, those are a different dash suffix. These labels have gone to C dash label dash align dash 40th Avenue. So it's taken the national CAD standards and tweaked it a little bit to include your object names. Now, layering in Civil 3D is extremely important as we are building multiple things on top of each other. So you're going to have four, five, six alignments all in the vicinity of each other stacked up with surfaces, potentially stacked up with parcels, stacked up with grading, and it's all going to be in one spot in space. So layer things properly. It's going to keep your drawing cleaner. To show you my layer list in this drawing, I've got eight alignments, got about 150 parcels. I have one surface and I have a whole bunch of label layers. So just a quick view of my my layers here and I currently have 121 I have worked on drawings with thousands of layers so that is automatic layering within Civil 3D